All right, let's try this again. Um, because I want to use the goober this time, right? So we're gonna go whetstone wooden sword. I'm also gonna get that second wooden sword on the play. Getting a box of riches this early is risky because it's five money, but I kind of do want one, so I'm just gonna get it one. Um, I'm gonna just buy this because it's on sale. Get myself a roll in. Usually I would like to go spike shows, but I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna be a little bit risky this time. I think I'm gonna be a little bit risky and not go spike shields. They have a chance to, uh, to spawn in the item shop. You don't have to combine items. Oh, you have to combine items. Yeah. You can't get non combined. You can't get combined items in the item shop. You have to get the items that you need for the combination inside the item shop. So now you'll see it. Uh, my commons went down, my rares went up, and my epics went up as well. So, so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Over time, the values of the percentages change. So. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some space. Um, if I get me another whetstone, here we go. Another whetstone. I can't really buy. Well, I guess I could use the pocket sand to buy it real quick. That works for me, actually. Get that hero sword. Um, I think we'll just roll with that. Is that Dale Gribble weapon? What is, I don't even know who that is. Who is Dale Gribble? Going against the berserker. She scares me. <laughs> but we won, so that's good. Boom. Um, Don't really need space all too much right now, so I think I'm going to pass on the space. Getting that on sale is kind of nice. I'm just going to hit and buy it. Since it's on sale. Ooh. This was good. This was really good, actually. Let's turn that into a burning sword. Um... I'm going to sell the chipped emeralds so I can buy this chili pepper. I'm going to get space and we're going to get the whetstone next round. That's the plan. King of the hill. Which one's Dale? It's a meme. He uses pocket sand. Does he? I didn't even know that. <laughs> that kind of sounds funny now. <laughs> Going against kill Kenny. He's got the goober for healing, which is extremely sucky. And the fact that we're out of stamina most of the time. He's out of stamina most of the time too, though. But this is going to come down to fatigue. He's got better healing than me, so. I'm going to be taking that L. I guess now is a good time to just sell this wooden sword. That way it's not using up the stamina. And we're just going to be gaining heat anyways. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to go ahead and get me some space as well. Um... Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get that and i'll just settle for that i think that's good he wears an orange hat oh the skinny one i think i know what you're talking about another berserker yeah, he's got dragon scale armor too double banana he's only got the forge hammer for dps so there's that which means most of his dps is probably going to be coming from berserker mode plus uh spike shields whoa that was a close one that was a close one at the end there for sure. Oh, there goes our goober. All right, let's buy you. Get that chili goober situation. I'm just gonna get more space since I don't have enough money to get this anyways. Likewise, I could. Honestly, instead of going for Phoenix, um, I could go for the Molten Dagger. I think that's what I'll do actually. I've never tried a Molten Dagger build. We're using up a lot of flame. But on the bright side, the Goober's going to be generating flame for us. So I'm going to rock this Molten Dagger. Situation. And see how that goes. I think that'll be good. I think that'll be really good. Really, really good. Okay, Chili Goober. On the bright side, he doesn't have that many activations on it. He's only got the, the shovel. So that's good. I say we win this one. Just because look at that. Out of stamina. Out of stamina. So really, he's only relying on his sword. Which means he's not going to have activations for that chili goober to increase his speed. But yeah. Good game. Good game. Boom. So now we got the burn. Honestly, this is probably better for versus like putting it on the whetstone. 
because this increases the DPS indefinitely, the more heat that I gain, right? Um, get the Draconic Orb. Let's move you. Honestly, the weapons really don't have to be in here. But I guess it's good to have them in here, right? I think I'm going to do something like this. You go there, you go there. And on the other side, we'll have the shield plus you. So we got full activations. Um, let's go ship emerald on you. I guess we could just go poison resist for poison builds, I suppose. Um, and we're going to need the blueberry for our class item in two rounds. So we might as well just pick that up too. And we'll roll with that. That's looking good. Going against why? I'm not sure why you could have done that better, but going against a bow and arrow plus Fortuna's hope, I guess. With a, with a wooden buck. It's a very weird setup you got going on here. We should definitely win this. Our DPS is just going to be too much. Way too much DPS. Like, look at that. We had 7 to 9 on you and then an 18 to 22 dagger. We just need to speed this up, which is going to happen for sure with all that heat that we're going to be generating. Oh, there we go. Last little whetstone that we need to get the burning blade roll. Oh, another chili is great. Might as well pick you up. And I'm going to put it on there since the chili increases in speed with all the heat. And a wooden muckler just doesn't. Um, Just put this in their spots like that. All right, that works. That works, that works, that works. Going against a berserker. Spike shield is going to be dangerous, but we should still be fine. He's only got forging hammer plus uh, the torch, so 100% we should be fine. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Good game. Boom! Firebender, space. Might as well get another dagger. Um, We'll put you there so my firebender can go there. And let's... Dagger there so we can get the combination. Where are we putting this uh this friendly dude though? That's the question of the day. I'm gonna put you right there. Cause you'll be faster. And we'll combine food so that the cause the blueberries are only monogen. Unless we get some jewels or something. I guess we could do that. That works. I'm gonna reserve you just so I can buy you for space, but this, um, that does not count as a fire item. Um, I'm trying to see if I can make this faster by default without moving too much stuff around too much. Doesn't seem, well, I could move you up here and do that. That works. That way it's two instead of one. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me. We'll go with that. Blood Goober, Carrot Goober. On a wooden or a hero sword and a Fortunus Hope. Huh. Crits are going crazy. Jesus Christ. Been working out a lot lately. Been feeling better with my body than I did in years. Hell yeah. I'm happy to hear that. That's actually really dope. <laughs> I gotta work out more myself, honestly. Um, hey Blaze, what's up? Blue gym on fastest weapon is uh, for the most part since it's a flat rate. Um, I just did it just for the managing, so yeah. And this is yeah, the, yeah, pretty much. I wonder if I should get the 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 sun shield. Nah. Sunshit relies on block. We're not doing a block build. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do that dealing damage. This would be better with vampiric armor. Realistically. So, yeah. Let's not get a sun shield. Likewise, I could get a moon shield. Nah, because we don't get block. Or I could just get the shield just to get the shield for more jewel slots. <laughs> Instead of getting this or having this wooden buckler. It's on sale. I might as well. It doesn't hurt that much. In that case, I mean, I might as well just get the sun shield then, though. <laughs> I'm considering it. I feel like it just won't hurt me if I do get it. 
damn. Unless we get vampiric armor now. I mean, we could just get vampiric armor with sun shield. This is on sale. You know, it's it's just there on sale. We might as well. So let's get sun shield. Um, I'm going to switch those out. And I'm going to get that for the increase in healing since we're going to be healing like a shit ton. Pyro is so OP. <laughs> Way stronger than Berserker, in my opinion. Honestly, I, I think the same. Low key. I think the same. Red Goobert alert. Did I miss a Goobert there? No way I missed a Goobert there. I didn't see one. Mana generation is in the same amount per hit. So the faster the, yep, faster the weapon, uh, it's more mana you can get. Agreed. 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 Looks like we're just going to get some Berserker with a Chain Whip, but they got stamina issues. Otherwise, this guy would be pretty damn... Oh. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. By the way, the Chain Whip seems to be the direct, like, way of combating a build like this. Because we rely on buffs, and a Chain Whip on hit removes two random buffs from us. And then it also increases its own DPS for each buff that it removes from us. So, each hit is pretty much gaining two damage, essentially. Which makes us slower, plus getting rid of our mana. It hurts. However, it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. Now... I could definitely see a chain whip being freaking insane, though. I just gotta see a build with it. I gotta see a build with it. There goes our vampiric armor. Um, we don't have enough money for it. We'll have to sell some things. What do we need? Two gold? That's not that much gold that we need. Um... I guess we'll sell this jewel and hmm. sell this jewel. That will work. Can I go like this and stuff? Mm, nah. I, I'm gonna keep it like that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the blueberry there because I. This activates every 2.5 seconds, but I don't know if it doesn't activate if your opponent doesn't have spikes. And then it's just not going to act as an activator. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but just in case that is how it works, it's probably better for me to just not put it on the activator for the Goober. More than likely. More than likely. Getting that 25% chance to resist poison could be nice. Poison builds scare me. I'm gonna get that. Even though it's extremely expensive. Is Chain Whip going to be the new Ripshaw? There's so many things that could be the new Ripshaw. It's insane. This is my first time seeing a Bloodthorn, by the way. He's got... He went with the Deerwood Guardian. And a Bloodthorn. Not sure why. Now he's out of stamina. His Battle Rage does last longer. And you also get that heal off. Um... But even so, he's, he's got stamina issues. He's definitely got stamina issues. Is that another new character? Yeah, Berserker's another new character. And then there goes his uh, Berserker Rage, but still. We're just keep getting faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Good game. That's a major defense build. At least it could be. You think so? I'm going to switch that out because that's a faster activator. Now we're also going to be dealing damage each time this activates pretty much. We need to get faster with heat though. The more heat we generate, the better our build. I want another chili goober. Maybe get a mana orb too. Because I don't know if this activates if it doesn't have the mana orbs. And this is also slow. Um, Unless we move the... Well, no, no, no. Because no. this is the same speed. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm actually going to move you over here. So I can put those two in there. Oh, 
All right, we'll roll with that. See how that goes. Mostly depends on the rounding of the 10% damage reduction. Do we know how the rounding works? I have, I've got no idea. I've got no idea how the rounding works, to be honest. Let's see the speed on this thing. 2.63 seconds, 2.42 seconds. Pyromancer is insane. I want to see how much damage this thing did at the end, though. All right, let's see. Let's see. So it did 63. I mean, no, 70, 71. It did 71. That's not bad. Considering, you know, that's not horrible. Why did you do so much more damage than this one? <laughs> that's weird. Man, that's not horrible, though. That's not, you know, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. You could definitely do a lot more, though, with a little bit more speed or more vampiric armors. Or even more uh, sun, uh, sun shields, for sure. We should probably get another dagger. These don't use stamina. We might as well. We can use a fan for, for mana generation, too. Plus the uh, empowerment gaining. I think that's what we'll do. Buy you, buy you. Give me space. Got space. Got a regular sapphire. Got another goober. Hold up. This is all these things we need, right? So what we can do... Hmm. We can do that. Move you there to do that. All right, that works so far. That works. Um, and then just put this dagger right here, just so we can turn it real quick. I'm gonna sell you and this guy. Just so I can buy this, because that's going to be more uh, mana generation for the friendly fire for the next battle. Guess we can move you up there, put that there. I, th I think that works. We got fanfare here, which is already, what, 50% faster? Um, Got the activations on that. We got triple dagger. Okay, that works for me. One of the goobers has a topaz in it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we freaking does it. They got pandanomium plus a shovel. That is interesting. You went with a pandanomium build on the berserker. Very interesting. I think I just realized something. I need to check before I say something, though. But I do think I just realized something. Kind of interesting, though. Well, we'll probably be taking this one home, too. <laughs> Good game. Oh, the dagger has a... You said the goobert. Oh, one of the daggers. Yeah. I did that on purpose. I guess I could just put it in there, though. It doesn't hurt anything. But, um... The sun shield, um... Doesn't give an increase anymore of block. Versus like, yeah, star items give 30% more shield. This one doesn't give a 30% more shield anymore. So they took that away. Cause I was looking at Vampiric Orange was just getting ready at getting uh, generating that 20. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess it makes sense though, since when you're gaining armor, you're dealing damage. So having that 30% increase in armor gained might be a little bit too much damage or so. But yeah, it doesn't give 30% uh, more block anymore like the Moon Shield and the Shield of Aelor. Fun fact. I just realized that. Fun fact. Okay, so 
Wow, just got that too. That's crazy. Let's buy you for space. And we also need to buy the goober. We got to put this goober somewhere though. Um. We need more space. Incoming spike slash holy fire build. How would that work? Tell me how that would work. Your brain is working so fast you can buy it. I really did. <laughs> Pretty much combine two different sentences. I need that. All right, that works. So now we got double goober on the field. That's going to help us out with our healing, plus the heat generation. Once we turn it into a chili goober, that's going to be great. We got to out heat. The thing is, we're not going to be fast because the molten daggers use up heat. That's the thing. But the more heat we generate, the better. We just got to generate a shit ton of heat. Okay. Blood goober situation. On the, uh, on the, on the ranger. I mean, not blood goober, blood thorn. He's got gloves of power plus the Tuscan piercer or the Tuscan poker giving you that, uh, the spikes to increase the DPS of the blood thorn. On the bright side, we have this removing spikes. So that doesn't really affect us that much. No wonder we weren't generating that much heat. <laughs> it's because the daggers are, are taking it. And as they're getting faster, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did that shit just do 120 damage? All I seen was four crits go off. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually insane. I actually wonder if the fanfare is even worth it. Because I only have one empowerment at the end of the battle, right? Let me see how much mana to get uh, the fanfare. Three? It gave me three mana in one empowerment, right? Which means it only activated twice that entire time. I don't know if the fanfare is worth it then. It's every, what, 2.72 seconds. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm not sure. But I mean, we did get another chili goober though. Getting a degen lamp will be nice. So I'm gonna move you over here and we're gonna degen lamp downwards. Just for the activation. So only reason I'm getting it for the activation. Second dagger or fourth? Fourth dagger? Question mark. Might as well. Sell you and a heat for you. I guess we could just like do that just so we can still have it connected to the burning blade, even though I'd rather not. Um, we need like some slots over there. What if we were to do this instead? Then we need a slot up here, though. Hey, we're pushing for space. Um, I don't think that's the better choice, though. I say we just keep it like this. And get that activator off. Get right, I have this on the play. All right, we'll, we'll do it like that. We definitely need more space there. There's a better way to set this up if we have more space. This is a dangerous build. Just because of the Obsidian Dragon. 15 heat gain, the Obsidian Dragon also gains three damage and it triggers an extra attack every time you gain 15 heat. On the bright side, he doesn't have any chili goobers. His only heat generation is from friendly fire. Um, he's also gonna be using heat to heal with the sun armor. 
but it seems like his only way of generating heat is from friendly fire and he doesn't have any mana generation to do that so he's just gaining heat just from all that heat so then this is doing eight to eight to 13 damage i guess chili is gaining him heat plus this no this doesn't gain heat never mind um but yeah i say we win how is he gaining heat is it is, i think it's literally just from chili more than likely it's just from chili yeah all right cool that's good for me <laughs> i'll take that and this looks like a good game 8 to 13 we're doing 14 to 16 and all of those are just doing 20 plus the criticals that the crits at the end are killing me you just see 50 damage go off it's crazy got you i need a different space in this one i mean i could um well actually i'm gonna buy you you might work okay this is what i wanted plus the mana orb is nice too but if I were to do this... That still works, and then I'm able to put the, uh, the D-Gen in the middle. Which is what I wanted to do this entire time, honestly. So we got those as activators, those as activators. Okay, that's not bad. Now we just need this mana order for the mana generation. For friendly fire, I think. Which honestly, you can just go, like, somewhere. That's a good spot. Um, oh, Phoenix! I think that's good. We got a good solid looking build going on here. First time seeing the Dark Lantern. First time seeing the Dark Lantern. So on start of battle, you lose 50% health, but before you defeat it, you reincarnate and you're invulnerable. On reincarnation, you deal 10 damage per fire item, which since you have four, you're going to be doing 40 damage. is interesting he's also got the burning sword for the um for the heat generation plus the damage increase that he's going to be doing to the molten spear plus the uh the molten dagger and he's also got triple chili peppers up there he went with a bloody dagger too which is pretty cool interesting build let's see this pan out he's got an interesting build going on though but i do think we're stronger then he is at least we have better dps generation than he does which is good all right so he reincarnated did damage to us now we're tied and he's invulnerable which is fine because our dps is still better i believe Boom. Good game. No Phoenix? Nah. Not on this build. I feel like this build utilizes the Molten Daggers better. So it's either, for me at least, it's either Molten Dagger situation or we would use the Phoenix. Should I give me another Chili Pepper? Probably. I'll cop you. Um... I'm gonna get this fanny pack. Just to put it right there. And roll. Healing is reduced. It's kind of nice. Who is looking up bills? <laughs> Should I get me another DJ lamp? I wonder if this is better down here. Nah. I'm gonna give me a Dejan lamp. And I might as well get this perfect Aminus. We only got three rounds left. Reducing healing can be nice. If we're going against like 
another Phoenix build that heals. Ooh, you went with Molten Dagger Hammer? Huh. Are we going to lose this one? He's got a dangerous build. He already used up all the stamina potions, though. And he also doesn't have that good of heat generation. Woo! I saw that damage go crazy. But he's got Phoenix. He's got Phoenix. Oh, he already uses Phoenix. Never mind. See, that's why you don't use Phoenix with um, his fire generation is trash. Yeah. And then he also had Phoenix, which um, sucked for him, honestly. Because since he didn't have any fire, because all his daggers were using up his fire, the Phoenix pretty much couldn't give him any type of health back. Because all the fire was used up. Um, which one should I buy? I think I'm just going to buy a jewel. We'll get this next round along with the stamina sack. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me. What is this? This is my first time seeing a fatigue build. Okay. You're generating a lot of mana, but why? Remove one buff for each type from your opponent. Every five seconds. Okay. He's got fatigue on the fatigue crystals. Why are you generating so much mana? Is it literally just to proc the orbs? I'm assuming that's why. So he's relying on ore procs to survive maybe or something. I'm not sure. And he's also using Mr. Struggles for the fatigue build. Okay. I'm interested in seeing how this is going to go. Cause he's definitely cheating on us when it comes to that, uh, the buff removal. We're not going to be able to proc the DJ lamp at all. But our damage is, is pretty solid right now. However, fatigue is about to come through. And when that happens, his damage is going to be pretty amazing. We'll just have to see who dies first. There goes fatigue. I think it's him. Yep. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Good game. Let's get... Might as well get the Dijon lamp. I'm just going to put you up there. Unless I utilize it for the proccy or the activation on the Chili Goober. Um, and then I just... I kind of regret getting his fanfare. Honestly, I don't think it was worth it. It's... Yeah, I don't think the fanfare is worth it. I could get the flute. At least the flute will give me clovers. I mean, a DJ lamp also gives me clovers, though. But it can help. You know? At least. Um, I'm not sure. a better spot <laughs> he's got five stars versus here he's only got three and right there he had four so i feel like that's a better spot just for the amount of stars you get so then that's gonna stay there is she gonna move you two so i can put more fire on you Roll. I don't really want any more jewels. Cap of resilience could be nice if I can afford it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to afford that though. I 
wonder if I should switch these two. Yeah, I'm gonna switch these two. I feel like this Goobers activates more than this one. So that's probably a better play. And I guess we'll just buy a flame. Because <laughs> I can't afford that. That's going to be too much selling. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I could if I just sold all my flames. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just... I'm just going to do it. Just sell all the flames just to buy the Kappa Resilience. I think that's solid. I think that's solid. Interesting you went with a snake? Because you're not a poison build. But triple whopper, double ruby on a ripshaw blade with a poison dagger and a burning torch. And a snake. He's got no clovers, but then he's got no poison as well. So realistically, he's just going to be inflicting us with poison every two seconds i guess i guess that's his poison gen interesting build though mighty interesting mighty interesting on the, on the shitty side though he's gonna be removing our peers so we're not gonna be able to see our sword proc unfortunately jesus christ you see that damage, bro? As soon as we start critting, it's over. It just ramps up. Like, look at that. Game over. The game is over. <laughs> game is over. That was a good game. They almost killed us, though. Like, 76 health at the end there? How much damage did they do? And why did they do so much? They did 106 from poison? Really? Most of, most of it came from spikes, though. Just because of all the daggers that we had. But 106 from poison, I wasn't expecting that much damage from poison. Considering this is literally just one snake. And then burning torch, plus the ruby whelps and everything. Very interesting. Flawless victory? Nah, we need 18, I think. We, we lost one battle. Close, though. Very close. Uh, damage dealt. We did most of it from the burning blade, but look at the daggers. 62 damage from Sun Shield. I'm surprised the Sun Shield did that much damage. I wasn't expecting it to do that much damage. I felt a little bit underwhelming, if I'm being honest, but I could definitely see it doing some crazy, something just insane if you got like a bunch of vampiric armors with the shields and maybe just running like Gooberts or whatnot for the, uh, for the heat stacking and stuff. So yeah. Whoops. Yeah. It was at the beginning. Did this proc? Nope. Either way, this was a good... That was a good game. Very interesting build. Very, very interesting. Utilizing the Burning Blade to gain the heat, and then when four heat is gain this weapon, and the, uh, the star weapons gain plus one damage. So that's your infinite DPS scaling right there, plus all the Molten Daggers itself, gaining two damage every time they hit as well. So that's pretty much three or two different forms of DPS generation or infinite DPS scaling, and having four daggers as well. I mean, relying on the Chili Goobers to generate your heat. So I guess it didn't, heat is nice, but we would have had a lot more heat if we didn't use daggers and everything would have been faster. You know, and then friendly fire there as well. Wasn't able to proc this one on that 100 damage though. I, I would love to do that. Overall, decent build. I rate this build like a six out of 10. I rate it a six out of 10. Like, it's not bad, but it's not, like, in my opinion, it's not, like, insane. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's solid. It's solid. It's solid. I think making this build better would probably... More heat generation, for sure. More heat generation, I think, makes this build better. Maybe, like, another Chili Goober or something like that. Potentially. Overall, pretty, you know, it's a decent build, though. Decent build. That was a good one.